He started in Reno because he was a much bigger fish in a littler pond. He'd say, here, here's $100,000, I'm gonna play. And they'd say, okay, Mr. Paddock, here's a nice room for you, and blah, 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 blah. He was in the red double X, whatever they call their fancy shit club. He wasn't doing it to get any richer. He was doing it because you get to hang out in the hotel, and it's nice, and the people bring you drinks, and they bring you nice fat shrimps, and, and you get to eat in really good restaurants. The goal was to gamble effectively enough to pay for all that stuff so it didn't cost him anything. When he needed to burn points, he'd go to their store and buy a bunch of crap. You know, $350 sunglasses and $450 watches, and, and I'd get a box of shit. TVs would show up at my mom's house. He wasn't losing. If you aren't losing, you aren't a good customer. If you break even and you're spending their comps and eating in their restaurant, you're costing them money. If they are not making money on you, they fucking want nothing to do with you. And they pushed him out of Reno by just cutting off his comps and stuff. He's been staying in Las Vegas since 06. So we, you know, we're talking about 11 years frequent visitor once or twice a month. I've got a picture of Steve holding a $250,000 check signed by Steve Wynn. When Steve came in, they said, oh, we've got your room, Mr. Paddock. I've got texts from him where he goes, they're calling my name for the fourth time. I'm sending Mary Lou up to get the shit because he got like five of the six things in the drawing for a car and he had three quarters of the tickets in the drum. That's how he played. When there was a reason to gamble is when Steve gambled. There were like six machines in Vegas that Steve would play. It had to pay out 98 point blah, blah, blah percent on a flush. It was an equation that had to come out the right number at the end. That's why they talk, oh, he would go sit at a machine and lock a machine. Well, of course he fucking would. He wanted the best machine in the place. You know, Steve would gamble when there were three X points. They didn't make any money on him. So what would they do? They would say, oh, well, we're sorry, Steve, but there's gonna be three X points tonight from midnight to six, but fuck you. You don't get the three X points. You cut a deal with somebody to be in their club. He had their highest level of comps because he gambled that much and there's a list of shit that it says they will do for you. But of course, the little type at the bottom says we can fuck you at any time. They changed the deal. And then when they broke the deal, he was pissed. He wasn't as successful in gambling as he had been in the previous years. A substantial portion of his wealth had diminished and that could have been a contributing factor. He was really, really angry with the gaming industry because they didn't play square with him. Steve gambled $1.6 million at the Mandalay in the week before he did this. And I've got the last four years of his W2Gs. I've got tax records that show that when he came in at the Mandalay and they wouldn't give him the room he wanted, he sat down and gambled a million dollars so they'd give him the room he wanted. Las Vegas has billboards and happy shit they talk, blah, 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 that they don't want gambling addicts and they'll help you and blah, 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 okay? But they know with a push of a button exactly how much money Steve was gambling over the past 20 years.